At the end of week three of my baseball team season, our record is five wins and seven losses. Each week after that, we win three games and lose one game. At the end of which week will my team have first won at least twice as many games total this season as it has lost? Now, ugh. let's just cap that. I'll make sure it doesn't fall off again. Now, there's two ways to do this problem. The first way, I can't say it's stupid, just like obvious, but a kind of out of work to do it. But the second way, you need a bit of thinking, but once you're done with the thinking, you've got a nice, simple little way to do the problem. Now, first, let's do the, I guess I should call it, not stupid, but very obvious way. I need to come up with a better name for this, so though this is not Think of a name, math. Think of a name, kids. My Max, this is Math Kids by Max. So let's not try to think of names and try to listen to Think of Names by Max. Think of names, kids, by Max, but you know what I mean. So we're, we're going to make a chart, and in this chart, we're going to keep track of the numbers of wins, I mean, of the number of wins we have, and the number of losses we have. We're, we're also going to have to keep track of the end of which week we are in. So of course we are given that the end that at the end of week three we win we I mean we won five games and then we lost seven games. And well if you just go to week four you can just take the number of wins, add three of that, take the number of losses, add one to that. And we can just keep on going with this process, adding frequent number of wins and adding one to the number of losses. Six, at the end of week six, we all have 14 wins and 10 losses. For week seven, 17, and let's see, 11. That's week eight. And let's see, that's 18. Wait, that's, that's the number that that's how much we're adding for the losses. We have 20 and 12. The end of week nine, we have 23 and 13. Now we see we're getting pretty close to our answer. At least we think we're getting pretty close to our answer because we see. Well, at least twice as many games this season as it has lost. Well, we double 13, we get 26. This is only three less than that. So we think we're getting pretty close to our answer. And we see that if we continue this list just a bit farther, wait, not again. That's 26. And 14, 11 is 29 and 15, double 15, you get three. There's just one less than that. And finally, we have our winner. At the end of week 12, we have twice as many losses as we have wins. So that means our answer is week 12. Now, I know what you want. You want a much easier way to get to that answer without having to do all the twisting. Now, let's just get that out of there because it's a little too ridiculous to look at. It's all those numbers. Okay, that was a lot easier to erase than it was to write. Okay, so now let's do a much smarter way for this problem. Now, let's see. Of course, we're going to assign a variable. Now, what do we assign the variable to? I mean, there's six lines long. We might, as well, we might as well just assign the variable to every single word. So, you, you, know, you know that I'm not going to get so many variables. So, we'll just get, assign one variable. One is a lot neater than a whole bunch of variables. So, I think, let's focus on this piece of information. Why? Because, well, if you look at this problem, 
really, this is like all we need to know more about since there's only two pieces, like, I mean, there's really only two pieces of information that are given in these first four lines. And well, this first piece of information, well, uh, this first piece of information, well, really, we're given like all we need to know about this since we're given what week this is, we're given the number of wins and the number of losses. What could he possibly want more of this little bit of, bit of Bit of information, so it's, it's not like they can include the answer in the problem. So just look at this, this, this second bit of information, and we see that if we look at this free games, I mean, we're, we're talking about every single week we win free games and lose one game. But I want to know exactly how many more games we win and exactly how many more, um, how many more. Uh, losses we have. So I'm going to assign W to be the number of weeks we play, but not the number of weeks we play for the entire time, the entire 12 weeks. This W is how many weeks, num the number of weeks we have to play after week three and keep this W will keep, we keep going on until we get to our answer. That's at, at the end of which week will my team has first one at least twice as many games total this season as it has lost. Now, for W, once we have W, we can see each week after that, or W each W, because that's exactly what W is, we win three games and lose one game. That means we win three W games and we lose one W games. I mean one W games, or just W games. Now, to turn that into math and include this stuff up here, we see the number of wins we have. Well, we take our original five wins, and then, well, we win three W games, which we just add together, and that's, not, that's X, three W games. Well, then, you just have this little equation, and that's how many wins we have, which is very simple. Now, we just need to know how many how many games we lost? Well, first we know we lost seven games. And we have to add that on to the number of games we lose, I mean lose, in these W weeks, which is just one times W is W. Now, since we're given that, like, at the end of which week will my team have first won at least twice as many games total this season as it has lost, well then, the wins basically, it's just basically telling us the wins are at least twice as our losses, so there we go. Now, what's the little, like, how do we compare these? Well, here's how we use this little greater than or equal to symbol because, well, we can't, and two times seven plus W can't be larger than five plus three W, because if it's larger, if this stuff over here is larger than five plus three W, well then five plus three W won't be, I mean, five plus three W will, will be less than half of two times seven plus W. So, but this is larger, well that means this is less than one half, and we can have that, right? Since this is at least twice as much as this. And of course, this, this, this can be equal since Again, at least twice. We can have twice. This can't be twice as that. And if you remember that that in that chart we had like I think it was 32 wins and 16 losses. That was that was twice. 32 is twice 16. So we definitely can have twice, meaning we can have an equal sign. So solving this equation, we can expand the right hand side. Just have five plus three W is greater than or equal to 14 plus 2w. Put w's on one side, put the constant terms on the other side. That's just the 14. See, subtract 5, subtract 2w. We just have w is greater than or equal to 9. And of course, we want the, um, wait, at least, wait, no. Uh, oh yeah, first one. That means 
we want w to be as small as possible, to be as small as possible, meaning if we want as small as possible, w is 9. And of course, 9 isn't our answer, 9 isn't 12. But again, remember what w stands for each week after that. What is that? It's this first three weeks, meaning each week after that. Remember, W is only the number of games we play after this week. I mean, after these first three weeks, meaning you have our first three weeks, you add on the nine weeks, and you have your answer, week 12. Isn't that simple?